This is Dexter's Rough Life. What are you up to, Dex? I'm trying to hack into Sanit's naughty and nice list. <laughs> you were that bad this year? I figured with my computer skills that this would be a lot faster and easier than writing a 50-page apology letter again this year. It'll save me on shipping it all the way to the North Poles, too. Mommy, we don't have a chimney. How's Santa gonna get presents to us? Santa's magic peppermint. He can come in without a chimney, no problem. He can get Zim without a chimney? Santa's kind of stupid, isn't he? <laughs> what do you mean, Dex? And by the way, calling Santa stupid is not a good way to get on the nice list. Well, it's true. If he could just magic his way into everybody's house, then why does he insist on cramming his fat butt down chimneys all the time? Seems like a waste of time to me. Not to mention a waste of a perfectly good suit. Well, maybe Santa does need a more modernized business plan. No kidding, I've been searching for an hour and I can't find his naughty or nice list online anywheres. He doesn't even have a website, let alone a blog, Twitter, or Facebook account. How does he keep in touch with all the children of the world without a Facebook? Again, magic. Magic schmagic, this is the 21st century. There's so much room for him to be improving and cutting costs. He could at least offer free downloads of movies and music on his website on the 25th. Not only would that save him time on deliveries, but he would have to carry less, which in turn is a direct savings in fuel costs. <laughs> and what's the cost of fuel for reindeer these days? One less apple here, one less carrot there. It would really add up over the course of the night. There would also be less time wasted on reindeer pooper scooping. And what's he still doing making all his toys by hand? If he built a machine run factory, I assure he could have 10 times the production rate he has now. His complete toy order for the next year could be done by February, and he would have time to take Mrs. Claus on a well-deserved romantic getaway to the Bahamas. A factory like that would cost a lot of money to build. Then why doesn't he just get a credit card? He could just order everything online, and boom, he's done. Well, maybe you should write to him with a business proposal in exchange for getting onto the nice list. It's not a bad idea. He also needs some PR advice since there's some untrue rumors about him. Oh yeah? Like what? Well, like when I bit some last year, he most definitely did not taste like a bowl full of jelly.